Hi everyone! It's me again. I hope you will subscribe and like my channel. I'm pretty sure that you will learn a lot of things uh, from my videos. Okay? It's more about academic references in grade 11. Um, yes, it's for oral communication and context for the first semester. And from the previous video that we had, it it talks or it talked about um, the, the the different speech acts. So we had the locutionary, the elocutionary, and the perlocutionary. Okay, I hope uh, my explanation was already good. And I have mentioned or I had mentioned last time that we're going to discuss more about the elocutionary. So there. Uh, in here, there is uh, another philosopher who had um, um, categorized elocutionary since it is quite complex. Okay, so we have here um, Charles' classification of elocutionary speech act. So we had mentioned last time that we talk about elocutionary as somewhat like the interpretation of the receiver of the message, how he interprets how the person interprets the message okay so again yes to make uh, to simplify those we have probably I'm, I'm not quite sure if four or five so they are classified or these elocutionary is classified into the following okay so yours truly you pres presented by me we have here the first one, what we call assert, assertive. Assertive is a type of elocutionary speech act in which the speaker expresses belief about the truth of a pro proposition. Hmm, what is this about? Okay, so something that uh, there was um, being um, stated and then he has his own way of believing things Okay, so he has his own perception already. Okay, so this is how he interprets the things. Okay, so from there, okay, we have here an example or two to three examples of assertive. Okay, we have suggesting, swearing, boasting, and concluding. Okay, for suggesting, so in your group activity, so you will have, you suggest topics. I suggest it's better this way okay so it's something that yes you propose okay to your group okay swearing i swear i will be the best student ever okay so something like that boasting so um you you can tell your friends or classmates among the other young students i am the best okay so it's like that yes so it's something that you believe in that it's true it's how you interpret it Okay, that's something elocutionary as well. Okay, so boasting, concluding, ah, okay, so you are the best student, I believe. Okay, so you can, um, you can pass um, activities on time. Okay, so you can do that one. Okay, that's what we call assertive kind of elocutionary speech act according to John Charles. Now we have another one. So we have directive, okay? This is a type of elocutionary speech act in which the speaker tries to make the addressee perform an action. Okay, so addressee, okay, it is the, uh, the receiver of the message, okay? Performs an action because it is directive, okay? Giving instruction. These are some of the examples. Okay, ordering, requesting, inviting, advising, and begging. Okay, so when you go to a restaurant, you order something so you can, yes, asking someone okay, to do or to do some actions. Okay, so that is yeah, requesting, can I have, can you pass, can you pass the rice? Okay, remember the example sentence from the previous video? Yeah, so it's how you interpret, can you pass the rice? Okay, should I, uh, what should I do? Okay, should I pass the rice or are you, are you just asking me if I have the ability to pass the rice? See? So, elocutionary. Give, giving advice. So, this is what you do. Move on. Okay, that guy doesn't love you. Okay. Um, providing 
advices to your friends. Begging. Please, give me another chance. Yes. So, um, you can, after the statement, so you can also add assertive. So promising as well. Mm -hmm. So, I promise okay, to be good this time or to be better this time. Yes, yeah, so you can do that. Okay, so next, um, Elocutionary Speech Act. According to John Charles, we have here commissive. Okay. Commissive is an elocutionary speech act in which the speaker commits something to doing it in the future. Okay, he commits the speaker to doing something in the future. So, commissive, okay, promises. Okay, yes, the previous statement that I had, okay, I promise to love you now and forever. Okay, so that is commissive. Commissive has something to do with commitment. Okay, yes, you committed um, something to someone that you will have to do it. Yeah, so promises. Okay, so we have here some examples. Okay, promising, planning, vowing. I promise to meet you at 9 p.m. Okay, but then, yes, Filipino time, yes, 9 p.m. is 11 p.m. Okay, yes. So make sure that when you, uh, when you have a plan, you have to be committed okay, to, um, to follow or to really have that sincerity, yes, to stick with your plan. I promise to love you now and forever. Okay, so stick with it. Okay, don't be fooled by or don't be, see, don't be deceived by those flowery words, okay, of other people. Okay, so I promise to reach my goals. I promise to make my parents proud. Okay, so those, uh, I, I'm pretty sure that when your parents hear those statements from you that, Mom, Dad, I promise that I will do better this school year. Mm -hmm. Yes, so that is commissive. Okay, yes, promising. Mm -hmm. Yes, the, what's this, the pinky swear. Okay, next is, next type of illustrationary act we have, expressive. Okay, expressive is an illustrationary speech act in which the speaker expresses his or her feelings or emotional reactions. Mm -hmm. Yes, remember emotional reaction from, um, yes, the function of communication. Okay, yes, so see our topics are somewhat, yes, they are interrelated. So how do we do that? How do we apply express being expressive in our elocutionary speech act? Okay, so we have here some examples. Okay, it's thanking, okay, apologizing, welcoming. Okay, so you are being, you just express what you feel if you're sad and yes. So if you feel uh, bad about the situation, okay, so you, you ask forgiveness, so you apologize. I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to hurt you. I didn't mean to love someone else. I, I loved you once, but I didn't know what happened. Okay, yes, there are situations like that. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much for helping me with my homework. I really appreciate it. Okay, that is expressive. Mm -hmm. Welcoming, welcoming to your guest or welcoming to any event. That is also part of being expressive. Okay, yes. So you have to be, yes, a listening ear to your friends. Okay, so part of uh, mental health as well. Okay, next. Um, Elocutionary Speech Act by John Charles, we have um, declaration. Okay, so in here, it brings a change in the external situation mm -hmm. from the word to declare. Okay, so when we say brings a change in an external situation, so we have here examples first, okay, to make it uh, simpler for you. Okay. So we have here blessing, firing, baptizing. Okay, so firing here is not the fire that you burn. Okay, yes, it's not that one. Firing um, is a declaration because it changes the external situation. Example, your father just got a job. Okay, um, January of 2020. Okay, 
you get a job in a janitorial company okay but then um in in march 2020 yes march 16 we started the lockdown okay or the acq so the company or yes most of the companies can relate to this that they just closed or they got bankrupt so they can no longer yes finance okay all the rest of the employees so what they do they fire your father so see there is a change in the situation because from january he got a job um he can provide income to your family he can give you um he can sustain okay, the needs of your of the family but after two months he doesn't have any job anymore and that's so sad and that is uh, uh that gives a big impact to the family yes because he's the breadwinner so what happens yes no job no food no job no money no food okay so like that yeah so it changes his situation and even to the family situation mm -hmm. yes baptizing before the child is being baptized uh, baptizing um yes i'm not sure for other religion but for christianity and roman catholic yes they do have their baptism baptism yes um for the child or for the person to uh, be blessed for the for the new religion so from being christian and then changed to a different religion or from the first born so it, um, the baby doesn't have any religion yet so the parents will decide to have the baptism so that okay, the baby will also become christian like that it change of external situation yeah okay i hope i was able to explain well okay for um further clarification and questions please do not hesitate to um uh, yes comment down okay i have already entertained some of i'm not sure uh, yes i uh, there was one student and another teacher asked about the functions of communication i hope i was able to help them yes yeah, so i i greatly appreciate those so i'm happy actually to um entertain or answer your queries okay yes i hope um, you learned something from today and please don't forget to ask questions if you do have because you need to speak up speak up sorry speak up speak up and ask for help okay it is very important because when things get tough okay don't just push it ask your parents reach out to your teacher or seek the help of your classmates yeah support will always be available as long as we ask for it okay that's why it's my way of um, helping out uh, the students or even the teachers so with this video and with this channel okay, i hope i'm helping all of you guys okay and yes learning from home can be very difficult yes indeed but it's definitely achievable okay remote learning nowadays helps in reinforce lifelong skills such as time and energy management independence and creative thinking yes this, this is what we need for the new normal and i'd like to congratulate you for reaching this far yes for watching all my videos regarding oral communication and we've gone this far i hope as you start your new journey in grade 11 so yes, uh, we are about to start our um, the first semester. So you already have ideas, okay, from the discussion, and you will use these videos or the lesson we have, yes, um, academically. And I hope it will be it will also be helpful for you, okay. Yes, if you do have questions again, please, yes, comment down. And thank you for watching my videos. Yes, I hope you will still keep learning with me. Okay, that would be all for today. Thank you, my dear students, and for the teachers as well. Okay, I hope to see you guys for my next video. Thank you, and have a great day all the time. Bye-bye.